YouTube. This is a set of Yamaha NS10M studio speakers. They are absolutely wonderful. I love these things. They are they are great. Um, so, anyways, uh, enough about how much I like them. Uh, let's let's play with them for a little bit here. So that is actually I have bass at zero, treble at zero. Uh, of course, balanced. Uh, volume is really low. These are fairly sensitive speakers, so uh, 90 decibels, uh, one watt, one meter. So pretty good. Uh, let's put the high filter on. Okay, doesn't do much uh, loudness. doesn't do much either. It brings out a little bit more color in them. That's balance. I want treble. Let's put bass and treble at about three quarter. So uh, the story behind these speakers, um, they're iconic. You, you go to a lot of uh, websites that talk about either studio speakers or near field speakers or bookshelf speakers, and these are always brought up. Uh, there's like a cult following of these speakers, and there's a good reason for that. They're really good speakers. Uh, the sales of these was kind of a flop for uh, home audio. Um, and it might have had to do, you know, a little bit with the price point. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive. But um, when studios got a hold of them, they found out that these did a really good job of bringing out uh, defects in the recording that, um, you know, maybe the speakers that they were using at the time didn't bring out. I don't know. That's just what I read is that the studios fell in love with these. And they actually had... Uh, so the tweeters are pretty strong, and uh, what they would do is put tissue paper over them, and they'd call it the, the tissue paper effect. Uh, this set is in uh, fairly good condition. It does have some dinks, like there's some, uh, you know, a, a check mark right there, and on the sides there's some checks. Uh, these were definitely used in a studio. Uh, before I got them. The really cool thing that I, I personally like about them is that this is does not appear to be foam. It is actually, uh, it, it appears to be a fabric of sort. Uh, the white speaker is iconic. You know, uh, when you when you see these, uh, you know what they are, if, if you know what they are, right? You recognize these at a distance. And if you look up, uh, you know, pictures of studios and such, uh, you, you do see these uh, quite frequently uh, in the studio pictures. So um, there's a, you know, on, uh, there's, a, you know, on eBay, you can look through and see how fast things sell. Uh, these speakers are one of those items that are like, they're kind of like the Bose 301 Series 3, and I reviewed those. You can go back and look at that. I would say that these are near field a much richer sound than the 301s series 3 but uh, they're built for different purposes right these are really built for that near field like right here um, i'm listening to music about you know maybe 10 feet away from the speakers whereas uh, that the bows are are really meant to fill up the uh, the entire room with sound and then uh, let's see here i have couple of other sets of speakers, uh, some of the classic JBL bookshelves. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember what the other sets are and some Yamahas and um, Polks and gosh dang it, one of them is an off brand. But anyways, this is, this is a, you know, this is toe to toe with anything, uh, the best of the best. Uh, let me see here about some other uh, facts. 
uh, 60 watts uh, up to 120 uh, crossover setting at 2k and let's see here 60 Hertz uh, to 20 uh, kilohertz so pretty pretty uh, high range these are not ported these boxes are enclosed so the speaker uh, is not the woofer is not um, shooting the bass out the back so the bass is going to be very accurate out the front um, let's see here what else did I find about these things there um, I've read about them a couple of times it's, I just go through so much stuff that <laughs> it's hard to remember they're 8 ohm uh, 13 pounds a speaker uh, so shipping will be a little bit um, well that'll that'll be enough if anybody wants to put some comments down and list out some other things about these speakers uh, go ahead and do so I am going to be uh, putting these out on eBay and I don't know what I'm going to price them at They're, the price is all over the board if you get real lucky you can find a set of these for about 200 bucks um, and then I've, I've seen them go as high as a thousand so uh, it's just it's all about condition right and these are in um, these are in studio used condition so that's that's how I'm gonna advertise them <laughs> studio used condition uh, they definitely haven't been cranked um, they just they sound really really good like they have not been abused this stereo has a little bit of a click that comes out of that speaker on the left hand side just sounds so warm they're so good you ought to get you a pair you should buy this pair <laughs> but if this pair is no longer out there or not out there yet uh, keep your eye out you can get a pair of these for a decent price and they're well worth it uh, then you can join the uh, the blog posts and whenever they get brought up you can say yeah I had a pair of those so you can be like the popular kids <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks for watching.